Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to cut some wax loaves for you guys today. I do have little Jay with me and she would like to say hi. Hi, I'm little Jay. Alright, so as always, this first part of the video is going to be a little bit shaky cam and then when I go to cut them, I will put the camera on the tripod. So, I have three loaves. These two have roses inside. This one is a plain Jane. I've got Princess of Wales and Milk Glass, Sanderson Sisters, and White Zombie, and the Crescent Hotel here. So I'm going to do what I always do, which is nuke them for a little bit, and then I will bring them back here and cut them. Oh, anybody watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're going to go ahead and start cutting. So as always, I'm going to take them out of the tin. I'm going to do these one at a time. Now, when I started this project, I... Um, thought I had paper plates and I don't so I put parchment paper on one of my regular dinner plates and I'm gonna go ahead and do what I always do which is 30 seconds on the top and then I am gonna flip it over and do 30 seconds on the bottom all right I've got the first one out of the microwave I have my straight edge and I'm gonna go ahead and hack into this thing This is a little soft, but it's actually making for a pretty easy cutting experience. So I think it is, um, it's up to you how long you want to do it. But it seems to be working really well at the 30 and 30. Really well. So with this 30 and 30 on these smaller size loaves, because this was not one of the deluxe flower box loaves, this is a regular flower box loaf, but with this 30 and 30, I don't know if I just got super lucky, but look at this. There is not one single shard, not one single shard. So there is loaf number one in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this bag open because it is still a little bit warm to the touch. And go ahead and go for loaf number two. But that one turned out pretty darn perfect. I don't think I could possibly be happier with that. All right, I'm back with loaf number two. This is a plain Jane loaf, so this does not have any roses in it. This one I did 30 and 25, just because I feel like it doesn't have as many obstacles within the loaf to um, cut around, so it might be a little bit easier to cut. We'll see how it goes at 30, 25. Hi. Now this one actually feels a little bit harder inside, strangely enough. That's okay. And this one I'm cutting into smaller pieces because it's a little bit of a stronger scent. So you don't need as much.
I cut my finger once on this wax cutter and it was not fun. Not even a little bit. Uh -oh. Little Jay's over here making faces. There is loaf number two. Again, that was the plain Jane loaf that did not have any roses inside of it. All right, and there is loaf number two in the bag. We got one more to do. All right, and this is loaf number three. This one did start to get a little soft around the edges just because the plate was getting warm. So we will see how this one works out. Hopefully it is smooth and clean like the other ones was, were. part is the real soft part here really really soft like almost almost melty <laughs> it's soft like jelly jelly is not soft it's squishy jelly is squishy this isn't it's a little squishy. Can I feel it? Not right now. Yeah. All right, and there is loaf number three. We have minimal shards, if any. Very, very few shards on that one. And there is loaf number three in the bag. So we got three successful loaf cuttings. I'm really, really happy with them. They all look great. So I think 30-30 is the formula that I like the best. They are a little squishy when you first pull them out of the microwave, but it makes for a pretty seamless cutting experience. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.